A brand new day and welcome back to the chicks youtube channel the chicks is my name local chicken educator here and around the world always call me world best chicken dad well in this video i'd like to share with you importance of local breeds of chickens and their improvements for higher production performance maybe also the practices you have to do to increase profitability in your local chickens Chickens are the most popular poultry worldwide, irrespective of courage or region. Local or indigenous breeds of chickens are playing an important role in rural economies in most of developing and underdeveloped communities. They play a major role for the rural poor section of the people with respect of their low income earning however performance of local chickens can be improved by change in husbandry feeding and better health cover regardless of low output from local chicken in rural areas they can thrive and produce with irregular supply of feed water and with the minimum health care. They are part of balanced farming system and have vital roles in the rural households as source of animal protein and emergence cash income. Change in traditional management practices can improve the performance of local chickens and thus contribute household income per year. On improvements for high production performance of local chickens, we've mentioned uh, husbandry, and with the husbandry, you know very well, though we are doing local chickens, being we are doing it on uh, a commercial basis we have to provide shelter for our chickens the shelter we are talking about doesn't differ from other types of chickens uh, of course uh, a good shelter for chickens you know very well you have to set it or to build it in a good drained area uh, it should have qualities like uh, ventilation is for proper flowing of air uh, it should be clean inside uh, maybe you should provide a uh, litter hence minimizing the spread of diseases uh, that's all about shelter it's one of the improvements for high production performance in our local chicken then another thing uh, it's all about the care. Uh, when we talk about the care, that's all about brooding. Brooding these chicks from day one, maybe up to one month. And here, uh, I do advise that let us try to come up with practices that will help us to cut costs. here we have this idea of course here wow. you need no extra heat uh, no 
extra light apart from daylight and then you will be raising your cheeks so it will cut up to 80 percent expenses you could have spent maybe in brooding so uh, that's brooding these boxes here are insulated inside with the hair and covered on top with the duty sacks where these chicks are covered inside at night while here they generate their own heat and this heat is retained inside hence warming these chicks then we have feeding and with the feeding of course we need proper feeding as our local breeds of chickens will be scavenging outside looking feeds on their own we have to supplement these birds as you know very well they will be scavenging outside but they will be missing other minerals in their feeds so we have to supplement them so that we can complete their feeding diet and receiving every mineral in their bodies hence uh, a steady growth uh, putting on more weight and growing very fast as we say that maybe to supplement uh, we need maybe you, you will decide to supplement your birds in the morning hours or to supplement your birds uh, in afternoon or in evening uh, on addition to feeds of you should provide uh, supply of adequate water to your local chickens uh, throughout the day good local breed selection is also very important and here we get good breeds and we cross with our poor local breeds My regards always goes to those people who always watch my videos and start immediately after being inspired maybe. Uh, that's very interesting. And my greetings today will go to Mire and Steven, the youngest farmer from Nansan. Uh, they always watch every single video I do upload and they told me that they started their farming after watching my videos Mire and Steven in their lower primer but they have already started their farming at their early age Steven told me that he started with one pair of rabbits very interesting and I wish you the best then Mire also started with one chicken <laughs> also very interesting and i wish you the best uh, then i have another one called Sengoz isa uh, also a youth uh, he told me that he started his farming after being inspired by my hard working and that's very interesting and encouraging guys this boy is also very creative and he's trying to show the world that he can do anything as i encourage you always uh, he started also his channel uh, called the wonders in the world if you get time guys uh, try to visit uh, this boy's channel I'm telling you, you will find there wonders, as it's called, wonders in the world. Very interesting and encouraging. Guys, I do promise that uh, with time, I will do start visiting you guys who have started their farming after me, and you show your progress on this channel. Guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and also to click on notification bell so that you don't miss out and upload every single friday of the week i do upload new videos here on this very channel about farming 
Uh, so, tell a friend to tell a friend to join our channel so that we can learn our farming together. Lots of love, mosaic chicks. Salute. So